Okay? So let me put it on the screen. It says Bamidero Co is a hot air balloon manufacturer whose equity to debt ratio is 5 ratio 2. The corporate debt, which is assumed to be risk free, has a gross redemption yield of 11%. The beta value of the company's equity is 1.1. The average return on stock market is 16%. The corporation tax rate is 30%. The company is considering a waterbed manufacturing project. My Omelet Co is a waterbed manufacturing company. It has an equity beta of 1.59 and equity debt ratio of 2 ratio 1. Bamiberu Co maintains its existing capital structure after the implementation of the new project. What will be a suitable risk adjusted cost of capital for Bamiberu Co? to use or apply in evaluating the proposed project. After reading this question, does it make sense to you? This is something you can solve on your own with the explanations that I've done. Let me know in the comment section. So, normally in exam questions, you start reading the requirements first. After you read the requirements, then you start reading the body of the question. That way, your requirements help you to know the variables to pick. So you don't get overwhelmed by reading too much question and eventually you don't even know what the requirement is asking, we don't know how to solve the question, okay? The requirement is saying what would be a suitable risk adjusted cost of capital? Project specific cost of capital. You can see that they are moving to a new project, so they are asking you to revise the work because obviously the existing work is useless to evaluate the proposed project. I mean, and you know that your formula for work is what? Cost of equity times equity over equity plus debt, right? Plus cost of debt, which must be plus tax times debt over what? Equity plus debt. Right? Now, look at all of this. You now start asking yourself, do you have these variables? This is the major thing. This cost of equity is the major thing that will change. Yes, it is the major thing that will change because a new project will affect this thing. Okay? So you remember the steps I gave you? Identify a proxy company. Can you identify the proxy company? You can. The proxy company is what? My own Right? My own The next thing is that, so look at this. My own is a waterbed manufacturing company. It's the company that is doing the business we intend to do. It has an equity beta. Start writing their own variables. Equity beta of what? 1.59. But you know that what they really concern us with their equity beta? That is the risk that involves their finance risk, their debt. Nothing concerns us is the business risk we want. And don't forget that this is business risk. This is equity risk. I mean, you will need to what? To get this one. That is strip it of every debt element and bring it down to this. Is this business risk we need from the co proxy company that we now take to our own Bamberry company, right? So they said it, um, it has an equity beta of 1.59 and it has an equity to debt ratio of what? 2 ratio 1. So B A equals what? B E times E over E plus D into 1 minus T plus B D times E over E plus D into 1 minus T. This is not E, this is D. Oh my goodness, why did you so? Clean this. This guy has used something bad to clean this board. He has used, sorry guys. He has used chemical, serious chemical. That's why this board is doing like this. So this is D into 1 minus T. Just by any way, D is multiple stats, okay? Now, they gave you B, they gave you B. They could have just given you BA straightforward, right? Just give me the BA. But it's just to test your understanding. That's why it's an exam. That's why it's a question. So BE, that's 1.59 times E. Equity. They didn't tell you it is 2 million naira. They gave you the relative figure, okay? So you say 2 over 2 plus 1 into 1 minus T. What is the corporate tax? So the corporation tax is what? 30%. That's 0.3. Right? Plus, they didn't give you BD. They didn't give you BD. So, by the they don't give you BD, that is the risk of the debt of proxy companies. Proxy companies information you are using to decay. Hmm? So this is zero. So, times anything left here will be zero. Okay? But when you must try to by anything, it's zero. So, this is what you have to solve. Where's my calculator? So, let me 
let's put that in the calculator. So this one now, what's the two plus one? Body mass, you dismantle this one first, right? So this will be one times 0.7, mm? and that will give you 0.7. That will give you 0.7 plus two. That will give you 2.7. Seven, right? So it's be two divided by two point seven. That's two point seven. And now multiplied by one point five nine, and that will give you that will give you B D to be one point one eight. Okay, one point one eight. So when you have one point one eight, this is a suitable um, waterbed risk. This is the risk as well the waterbed plate. And I'll take this to my company. So what is the third step? You will regain. So you can see that it makes sense. Then you will regain. What is the formula to regain? When you are trying to regain, you are trying to get B. Okay? So B equals what? B A plus B A minus B D. Hmm? D over E post tax. Very simple. When you use this many times, you just get used to it. Okay? So what is B A? What we just put? 1.18 plus 1.18 minus where is BD? Where is BD? You look for your BD. Now this BD is not this one. This was proxy information. Try and check the question. Did they, say, did they give you a BD, a risk of debt for Bani Berry? Because we are using Bani Berry's information, right? To regain. The sense behind is that I'm taking this business that I've got and I'm coming to incorporate it into Bani Berry's situation. Just that. Now look at the second paragraph. It said the corporate debt. Which is assumed to be risk free, it means this one is zero. Something is risk free. Okay, now what is the debt of Babyberry Co? Not my own debt. Babyberry Co is what? He said their debt to equity ratio is 5 to ratio 2. Okay, so he said their equity to debt ratio is 5 to ratio 2. That is, equity to debt, 5 to ratio 2. So their debt is what? 2. Hmm? Equity is what? 5 into 1 minus 2. Flat rate is what? 0.3. Very, very simple. Then you solve. Let me say this. No, we don't get confused. Then you solve, okay? So, what you need to do is that all these ones, the multiplication, you dismantle the first, right? Because in board mass, see, board mass, multiplication comes before addition. So you do all the multiplication first, then you add it to 1.8. So here is what? 2 times 0.7, 2 times 0.7 divided by 5 hmm, times 1.18 plus 1.18. That gives you 1.51. Sorry, B. Okay. Has this thing become permanent or what? That gives you. So you can see that your BE is equal to 1.51 and that has to be greater than BE of 1.18 because you are putting debt, right? You are putting debt. Don't forget that BA is the risk that's stated with an ungeared company. Okay, no debt element. But once it has BE, it has put in the finance risk. Now when you have BE, you now want to get your KE. Remember the fourth step, okay? Now the KE, you use what? Your capping approach. That is risk free rate plus BE into market rate minus risk free rate. Does it make sense? Now, your, your risk free rate, the risk free rate is 5%, okay? So 5% plus 1.51 into what is your market return? It said it's said it average return on stock market is what? 16%. Hmm? 16% minus what? 5%. Now solve this. You do this first. 16 minus 5. That's 11. Like 1.51 1. Hmm? plus 5. That gives you 21.6%. So from here, your fifth step now estimates what? Work. Very simple. And in that work, we've written the formula. So you use this KE that you've gotten to estimate your work. That's 21.6 times E. Sometimes I can tell you that. The capital structure will change. But here, they said Babylon Co maintains its existing capital structure after the implementation of the new project. So you are not incorporating a new capital structure. Okay? So it's still the 5 ratio 2. 
right? 5 over 5 plus 2 plus cost of get KD. You said has a gross redemption yield. Gross redemption yield or yield to maturity still means cost of debt, KD. Just know those terminologies and it's true questions like this that you can know those terminologies. 2 over 2 plus 5 or uh, 5 plus 2, anyone. So, don't forget I said this cost of debt will always be post-tax. Mm? So, you just said that gross redemption yield of 11%. You didn't say pre-tax or post-tax. So, you assume that it's pre-tax, okay? And put your 1 minus T. That's 2.3. Okay, now let's so let's put this in our calculator. What you have is 21.6 times 5 divided by 7 0.7146 times 21.6 that's 15.43 percent plus we do here 2 divided by 7 times I can use brackets here. 11 percent times 0.7 brackets that gives us 2.2 percent. Yeah, so 2.2 percent plus 15.43 that gives me 17.63 percent. So your work is 17.63 percent. Okay, and usually I've noticed in solving questions that the work is usually between the KW between the KE and the KD. So you will not come and get only of 30%. You always get something in between. Do you understand? Because some of this um, fraction has reduced this. This fraction reduced this. And then it brings you to the rate in between. So this is the suitable <coughs> weighted average cost of capital to evaluate that waterbed project. Okay? You can't be using the existing work because why? A new business risk has been brought into the business that has changed the entire finance risk, changed its cost of equity, right, or minimum required rate of return, and definitely changed the work. <laughs> All these things, eh? I don't even know if it makes sense in the business or just do business and make profit. <laughs> but I mean, it's just part of it. So let's see if we can solve another question. <laughs> you guys, I actually feel more to go. Do you understand? So it's usually short, short. The time I have to film, I used to film, right? But very soon I'm filming in my house, okay? Because I got a new board already. I have a new board given to me by a special person. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's try and solve this question. I'm not scared because it looks as if this stuff is not wiping. It's going to be difficult to wipe up. So let's try and solve this question here. Is this um, thing is very difficult to it's difficult to clean. So let me just use here and clean everything at once. So this one says Ajani Reco produces electronic components, but it is considering venturing into the manufacture of computers. New line of production. Ajani Reco is on gear that it doesn't have depth element in it. With equity beta of 0.8. See, equity beta of what? 0.8 of a general level. The average equity beta of computer manufacturers, that's what they call computer manufacturers, they're a proxy company. They didn't give you a specific name. The average equity beta that is for proxy, their own equity beta is what? 1.4. Okay? And the average gearing ratio, gearing ratio, that is debt to total capital. When it comes to the gearing ratio, it means debt to total capital is equal to what? 1 ratio 4. So equity here will be 3. If debt is 1 and total capital is what? 4. I know that equity plus debt is equal to total capital. I know that debt is 1, total capital is 4. It means it's 3 that is here. So the debt to equity ratio is what? 1 ratio 3. So there's no we said that. Then said the risk free returns is what? 5%. Market returns is what? 4%. Then they said, and the corporation tax is what? 33%. Mm? Required. If a general is trying to maintain an equity finance company, they are telling that the capital structure will not change. See, that's a different.
friend going to tell you. They want to maintain the equity finance. They don't want to become geared. They are not bringing in debt. Determine the discount rate it should use to appraise the computer manufacturing project. You have identified the closing company. You are looking for the business risk now of computer manufacturers. And you have BE. So go and get BE's proxy. And when you want to get, don't forget the formula. Right? So BE equals what? E equals B. 3 over 3 plus 1 into 1 minus T. 4.33. Right? Plus, plus BD, maybe BD, BD. No, they didn't give you. So most times it's zero. So it just cancel out everything here. Point this in your calculator. 1 minus 0.33. That's 0.67 times 1 plus 3. Then 3 divided by answer. Mm -hmm. So you have this. Oh, we can multiply by B. Where is B? B is what? 1.4. Hmm? Times 1.4. Hmm? So you have your BA to be 1.4. 1.14. What am I rushing? 1.14. Okay. Now when you have your BA, business risk of computer business. Now, do you need to regear? Do you need to think about it? You don't need to regear because there's no debt element. The company is equity financed. So it means that this BA will be the BA. But let's Let's say BE equals regain BE as 1.14 plus 1.14 minus 0 into D over E. D is what? 0. Because there's no debt. So definitely E will be 1. Does it make sense? Right? Debt to equity. There is no debt. So this one will be 1. Right? Just like the total capital is 1 and the total capital is equity. You understand? Into 1 minus t, 4.33. This zero that is here in has caused this whole thing. Definitely, your BE is equal to 1.14, which is what your BE that you actually had here. So, this your BE is 1.14. You now want to what? get your KE. So, you could have skipped this whole step because you understand that the essence of regaining is to bring that business risk and marry it with the debt element or the capital structure of the company. But because you know that the capital structure does not even have debt, there's no essence of the repairing step. So you go and get your KE, which is usually the fourth step. Okay? And that is risk free rate, 5% plus um, B 1.14 into market returns 12% minus 5%. So that's seven, this is seven times 1.14. Plus 5, and that gives you 12.98 percent. Okay, but well, let's just say 13 percent. Then you get your work. Do we need to get work? You don't need to get work because it is equity finance. So the return on equity is the return is the return on the total capital structure in the company. But well, let's try it because it's not debt finance, so debt will always be zero. Zero will always spoil the equation. Okay, but we have what? 13% times equity. They didn't even give us equity. But equity just as soon as one. Okay? Equity plus debt. Zero. Plus cost of debt. They didn't even give us cost of debt. There's no cost of debt because it's not a debt uh, finance company. Okay, so that would be zero times debt. Zero over one plus zero. This zero has caused the equation. So the answer is that the work is 13%. Does it make sense? It so then like the steps. Follow the steps. But you can see that once the company, the company of concern is not debt financed, then you don't need to regain you know, because there's no debt. Do you understand? So thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow we move to another question on work. We saw one more question on work and then that will be the end. Actually, that's tomorrow class. I've already filmed it. This one I'm doing now is a take, is a refilm. Because I mean, I lost the clips, but I found a way to uh, move the clips without losing them. Most times, when you film in batches, you might lose some videos. Okay, so at the point of editing, you now realize that you you lost some videos or you made some mistakes. Okay, so you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it with people that you now found find it useful, and I'll see you in the next class. Bye.